circuit number three, cross-court circuit. The players go on two six-minute cycles for this circuit, working their right hand during one six-minute cycle and their left hand in the other six-minute cycle. For this circuit, players are going to be working on two primary up-the-court attacking skills, the inside-out and the inside-out crossover. There are also two finishing skills in this circuit. Whenever a player uses an inside out, they finish with their inside hand off their outside foot. When a player uses an inside out crossover, they finish with a half reverse, so they split the elbow to the block and finish with their 
outside hand. This reinforces the fact that players need to be able to finish off either foot with either hand on either side of the basket. Ball handling circuit number three. Inside out to an inside hand finish. Inside out crossover to a half reverse. ball alternating pounds behind the back 90 degrees drawbacks right hand to half court left hand back inside out beat a crossover circuit number seven. Side out behind the back. Pound crossovers. Alternating pounds. Pound between the legs. Inside out V to between the legs. Step back and go. Crossover back between the legs. B to crossover. Pendulum swings. And backward figure eight.
Bible in circuit number eight.